Hello and welcome, Pushwhackers, to Pushwhacker Weekly. You know what channel this is. Uh, welcome, it's me, Nick. George is here in the, behind the scenes. George, are you here? Yes, I am. Welcome to Bushwhacker Weekly. We are the active developers of the game Bushwhacker 2, Codename Entertainment's oldest running game. I'm Nick, your programmer, designer, content creator, community manager. With me is Georgia. Hit me with your intro, Georgia. Hello, everybody. You know me as the artist who draws pretty things. And I'm drawing a pretty thing right now, actually. And she designs the things she draws. I do. Um, behind the scenes, we have Sasha moderating the chat today. Hello. As always, there's a coupon code on the top left of the stream here. Today it is Nate Dragon B Day 21. Uh, 21 is supposed to be the year, as in 2021, but I couldn't help but read it thinking that Nate is 21 years old, and <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's older than that. <laughs> but then Sasha cracked a funny and said he's forever 21. Anyway, you can redeem that code in-game for a cluster satchel to supplement your adventures across Bushwhackia. We'll be here for an hour to answer your questions and to chat. But first, I want to say hi to everyone in chat. We have 44 people in here right now. Lynx is the hero, 35. Welcome. Yes, there is a code. Thank you for sharing that, Nightbot. JPL77, hello. Andy Jacoti, I haven't seen you before. Hello. Welcome. Flybaby's in the chat. Hello, Flybaby. Uh, so let's move on to submissions. So we gave you quite the challenging uh, drawing sheet last week. Mm -hmm. And then we gave you a couple less days than usual to actually fill it out. <laughs> it was Nate Dragon. <laughs> but, oh boy, am I impressed with what you all submitted here. Mm -hmm. How many yeah, do we so got, Georgia? We got, I think, around 17. Mm, yeah, a lot. And there's a lot of good ones in here, too. So let's hit it off with Barb Zach. Great job, Barb. Barb is using a lot more colors. I've noticed mm -hmm. that they're improving with their coloring, which is really cool to see. He's got, like, green hypnosis on it. Yeah, yeah. I was just going <laughs> to comment on that. Yeah, like, they've, like, done green for the outlines as well. Mm. Yeah, and Barb was, uh, she was going, she was humming and humming a bit about getting a, a coloring sheet filled out that she was satisfied with. I think this might have been like version three or four, but it looks oh, wow. good. Yeah, it does. I I always like it. I always forget myself to color in the boxes and the and the logo. So whenever I see people doing that, I'm like, oh, that's a nice detail. It is. I always forget it. And the um, two's different from the bushwhacker. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, well nice done. job, Barb. Um, next one is by Nick. I'm so happy with how this turned out. <laughs> <laughs> you got some cool rim lighting going on from the yeah. explosion. It's very iterative. Oh, uh, and you signed your name at the bottom? In the wow. shadow. Wow. That's pretty artistic. So I was, I was a very detailed one, and I just, like, paint bucketed in originally, and then I was like, oh, what if I put something cool in the background, like what Fly Baby typically does? So mm -hmm. I found a free cartoon explosion on the interwebs, slapped that in the background, but then it just didn't look right without lighting or highlights or shading. <laughs> so I thought I did a, a pretty tricky thing to get the shadow by like uh, using the magic wand to highlight Nate, copying him to a layer above, completely blackening that and setting the transparency and then like shifting it over. Oh, oh. And then cropping out like the extra using the same magic wand. Magic wand is my magic tool. <laughs> anyway, that's... Magic wand is very helpful if you want to color things real quick. Yeah, Nate likes explosions, so. He does, go. this is a very fitting picture. Very nice, Nick. It's, it, I like seeing that you're improving too with your coloring methods. Thank you, thank you. Um, this one was mine. I decided since like, I really like Nate, I wanted to do a fancier one this time. So I gave it some shading and a cool background because again i was inspired by fly baby too always adding in cool backgrounds and mm. other players that add cool backgrounds in theirs um so uh i just made nate his traditional colors um as i usually do i just i'm like i already i'm already creative with all these things i i'm gonna use the same color scheme oh but you got that like artistic blur like yeah. the glow the backgrounds artistically blurred and then you have that like front glow and the shading mm -hmm. Yeah, I I was lazy and I just used a background off the internet. 
um, a free <laughs> one and blurred it. <laughs> so I'm like, Same. I spent enough time on Nate. I can't spend too much more time on this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. It, it kind of brought me back to like, oh yeah, coloring pages is so much fun. And um, just having fun, just coloring a picture is very therapeutic. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. No, it's, uh, looks like you're a professional or something. It, it, really? You think so? I think <laughs> I could do art. <laughs> um, but, JPL. Uh, oh, sorry. You oh no, you go ahead. JPL to comment about mine. Uh, he says in the strong bad voice, uh, "My head is flowed." And then <laughs> Nick missed the A hole. Oh no! What? What? The A and. Oh my goodness! Here. What have I done here? Oh god, we're getting a split. I don't like it when Clip does this. That Clip is studio a submission. Paint. Okay, well, this is the next submission. Yeah, let's just move on. It's fine. <laughs> but I no need to look at my, my mistake. Where's the a-hole? There it is! is... <gasps> Nick! Oh, that looks... I take everything back. GPL, One mistake. GPL, why? <laughs> moving on, and moving on. No, moving need to dwell on. here. <laughs> I mean, we could talk about it for another 30 minutes, but... Um, <laughs> this is... Um, a lovely submission by Flybaby. Flybaby gave us two gorgeous submissions. Um, I always like seeing mm. uh, multiple submissions by the same person. It oh. seems like they're just so excited to do different color variations. Yeah. It's great. Well, this one's um, neat with the uh, colored background. Uh, mm -hmm. Always with the gradients mm -hmm. and the yeah, outlines, I, too. I like how Flybaby does their outlines. Like, here you can tell mm. it's a softer brown. Um, and I really like the cool green effects, like giving it a cool border. Um, there's an Easter egg in this one. Can you spot it? Is Georgia? there? Is there an Easter egg? Oh, <gasps> is it this? Oh, there's another one. Is there another one? Oh my goodness. Where's the Easter egg? Is it tiny? It's basically the same thing in a different place. Also, they replaced their name. It's not Bushwick. They did. I really like that. That's really cute. Oh, oh, right here. The pommel right here. of the sword. Wow, that's that's neat. Flybaby was aiming to go for like the C and E logo. Very nice. I I like. All the little details that players add like that, that's always fun. Yeah, it's, it's um, great. Excellent job, Flybaby. This turned out great. Yeah, um, on the sword hilt, you got it, JPL. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the second one by Flybaby. I really like these colors a lot. I like how the circle is going off to the center here, so it kind of draws your eye in. Mm -hmm. It brings a nice like um, curve to the whole drawing. So you start up here, you look at Nate, you're drawn down to this, and then you end with their name. That's, that's kind of a nice, natural draw that your eye has when i look at it anyways yeah i'd love the blurred background but it also carries on past the border and then it you can does. also see the circle oh, i can't see it on the stream right now can you scroll can you down a little bit for the the down at the here? top the very top oh at the top how like the the ring in the background continues yeah. there but it's like opposite. Mm -hmm. it's really cool that is really cool and, and the, the sword yeah the i was sword. gonna say the sword <laughs> yeah. it's made out of like I don't know, titanium. Yeah, look, it's really shiny. I like it. That's so cool. I like how it's more of Nate's traditional colors here. That's always fun. Also, um, another detail I don't know if you noticed, but with the outlines, some of them are the lighter brown, but then some of them are the black, and it looks like oh, there's yeah. light shining well, on yeah. it from the left or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. And got another little code name. Do that up on the sword hilt there. Very nice. <sighs> Full of thought. So um, full of thought. Um, this one is by Incredible Goblins. Incredible Goblins is a close friend of mine. Oh. Uh, very intimidated by making a coloring sheet, so I was very impressed that they. They they did a good job. Yeah, like I like the streaks in the hair. The color palette's yeah. nice. I like the little um, details here with the gem. That's nice gradient kind of opalescent almost and they got a shine on the belt buckle and the sword yeah i'm really digging these color schemes i really yeah. like the the blue and the grays and then the bright red yeah um, the different kind of skin hair color combo is mm -hmm. really neat it's fresh. yeah yeah i think they did a good job so pass that on I spent I two hours that. which i think this is very impressive for two hours yeah yeah i think so i think it turned out great awesome job to incredible goblins <laughs> says uh. it's my best work <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is um done by one of our artists uh ivy mm. um, 
Ivy is super talented and she Ivy always does an amazing here. job. Yes, it's very futuristic, kind of like punky feeling. Yeah, it's a very, the, uh, what do they call it? A Netrunner punk thing. Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk. <laughs> I sound old and cool. <laughs> Continue, sorry. Um, no, you're fine. Um, I like the cyan, the glows. So that really reads futuristic to me and kind of punkish with the mm -hmm. pink and the purple and like the star. It looks like he's wearing like face paint. Yeah. Um, if you can see like the transition with his hands and his ear and his neck. So that's kind of oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that. Mm hmm. And the little glowing orbs and the cool um, gradiented background. And those shiny cool pants. Yes. Those look so shiny. I love it. I can, I can just feel the sass and the confidence coming out of this one. Yeah. This just with this whole Nate. ensemble and his color scheme. Very peacockish. Gonna have to do a, a cyberpunk Nate's birthday update. Yeah. <laughs> Fly um, BB so says, you... great submissions. I'm so mm -hmm. impressed. Yeah, these are really good submissions, everyone. everyone Vizorban says, great. everyone has done a great job. Good to see you, Vizorban. Mm -hmm. This one is done by another one of our super talented artists, John. Mm -hmm. This one I really like. It's got some the nice lighting. like rim lighting on either side. So we've got like a brighter rim lighting from the sword and a cool purple. Oh, yeah, the sword's rim glowing. It's so cool. Yeah. We got some nice blending going on here with the sword hilt and everything. And like even down on the pants, like just these subtle colors are yeah. really gorgeous. This is artfully done. Another mm -hmm. professional. Yes. Yeah, it's gorgeous. John did a really good job on that. Good job, John. And... JPL was saying, uh, Ivy's is Harley Quinn Nate. Yeah, it does look like <laughs> Harley Quinn Nate, doesn't it? These are all great. Um, John also got his uh, son and his wife to do some cool submissions too. So this first one is done by his wife, uh, wife Nina. Um, it's good. This is the, I think it might be the only blondie. Is it the only blondie? Maybe. He's got a cool red streak in oh, there yeah, too, which cool. I really like. Yeah. Like the color scheme a whole lot. Like the pale complexion with the pale hair and these bright reds with black. Mm -hmm. Like a cool emerald sword too. Mm -hmm. It's like mithril. Just the subtle difference in like the hues to kind of give it that depth, you know? Yeah. Very nice. JPL was saying John's looked like it was watercolor. Yeah, it does look yeah. like it was slightly watercolor texture. No, oh, this one's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, great job. And the next one is done by his son, who's also named Nate, or Nathan, I believe. Um, yeah, Nate, I don't know. Nate, oh, full name's Nathan. Nathan, yeah. Nate, Nathan. Um, but yeah, he's got like a cool, like, it's like either a shadow or like a dark paint on his face. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. Um, he's got some multiple colors here on his outfit, which is kind of cool to see. Very bright. Yeah. Very, very bright. And the sword looks really cool, too. There's, like, this glowing part in the mm -hmm. center with, like, red rim Encased around it. Encased with the red rim, yeah. Yeah. Very bold, bright colors. I love it. <laughs> Incredible it's Goblin says, like Nate Than. <laughs> Nate Than. <laughs> <laughs> Nate Than. Uh, but John was saying that uh, he's been... Uh, Raising Nate to be uh, an artist. Got him on the, the tablets and whatnot pretty mm, young. That's awesome. It shows. That was a good it start. Shows. Yes. This next one is by GPL77. Nice work with the gradients here, GPL. Yeah, there's some nice gradients. I love the background and the pants. Mm. Um, yeah, we oh, got yeah, some the nice. The transition of the pants is great. Yeah, some dark to, to red here. It kind of looks. Um, like Nate has been like in an explosion, <laughs> kind of like his <laughs> oh, pants the are tatters tattered. too, yeah. in the black, yeah. That's and really the green, cool. that's that's kind of cool how that turned out. Uh, and we got um, a little glow effect here on his scarf too. Mm -hmm. Looks like some brushing on his eyes. Speech bubbles gradiented, and his nameplate is gradiented. Yeah, and having that uh, looks like the there's like a the light source is coming from the top left at the the hilt of the sword. And so yeah, like transition down is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the sun. And I like the little drop shadow under the name. That's a nice touch. JPL saying I lost image quality on conversion. The lines are so bad. Could only work on JPEG, not the PDF. Hey, um, don't need to be too hard. Uh, I was actually thinking of uploading Georgia provides a PNG, but we've typically just done the JPEG, which is a lot bigger too. Um, but 
I'll maybe see about doing the PNG instead of the JPEG in case it's better quality or something. Yeah, PNGs typically tend to be better quality. Not only that, but if you open it in a certain program, uh, there won't be that background, so it'll just be the lines. So they'll be able to color it a bit easier, I think, depending on the program they open it with. Yeah, and the PDF is typically for printing it off, right? Was that the intention? Yes, I, I believe so. Um, with the PNG in the future, guys, if you want, I can exclude the white background. So oh. you can color strictly under the lines uh, to make it a bit easier on yourselves. Be interesting. Um... Well, because that's, that's that what I still do print I, color, right? I use the PNG and I get rid of the white background. Yeah, I, I usually do it. I magic wand the background out there too. Oh yeah, yeah. I... <laughs> Except for the center of yeah, the though. So it, I think it'll be easier. Oh yeah, because you want to keep the vase. And... I have a reputation to uphold now. <laughs> that a-hole. <laughs> the a-hole. <laughs> I just love the way they, they pointed out the a-hole. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> I beg your pardon? Um, but uh, for this next one, this next dragon cheat, when I do the PNG, we can try uploading that for you guys. I'll get rid of the white background. So if you downloaded it to a paint program like Photoshop, Clip Studio, or Corel, or any other type of painting program, it should just be the outlines mm -hmm. with the transparent background. Not cool. sure about paint.net or other types of programs, because I haven't used those personally. Paint.net represent! It's like open source poor man's uh, Photoshop that has <laughs> half the features. If that's the case, it should work then. It should have just the outline and not yeah. the white part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for our next one, we'll try that out and you guys can let us know how it is and which you prefer. Uh, Incredible Goblin says, I used an app that had layers and I could set the original drawing as darken only, which let me color underneath mm. it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What mm, program was yeah. that? Yeah. Um... That's interesting because that's almost like using Multiply on Photoshop. It does the same oh. thing. Uh, it just picks up the the outlines, so then you can color underneath it. Things are usually they can be a bit darker, but you can still color underneath it with just the outlines showing. So that's another. Th uh, thanks for bringing that up, Incredible Problem. Actually, that's that's a nice tip um, hmm. for players who weren't aware that you could do that. I you wasn't. can easily color underneath it. Well, now you know, Nick. You learned something. Ah, uh, apparently I missed the C hole too. <laughs> You missed the C and the A hole. Oh my goodness. Both don't sound very good. No, they. Do. I'm gonna go back. No. Where's the C hole? Where no. is it? Okay, well the C hole is actually oh, that's the C hole. That's an actual is, hole. Okay, we'll give him that one. Got me some okay, slack. The, the C hole is an actual, but the A hole. There's no excuse for that, Nick. Can we talk more about the cool explosion in the background? This explosion is nice until you notice the a hole <laughs> no. that's clearly not colored in. Okay. No. Moving on. To Let's move on. <laughs> Moving on here. To the rest of these gorgeous submissions. Um, this one is by Nanaimo Island. So they did a traditional one, it looks like, with some felt markers. Yeah, I think this is the first one we've had from Nanaimo Island. Great job. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the yeah first marker too. Yeah, I like the texture yeah, you can cool. get with markers. Yeah, uh, like you've got some darkening. It looks on the hilt here, um, and on the sword here, there's a bit of dark patches. And on the pants, it looks like there's some like darker tones in here with these teal colors. And the way they've colored in his jacket and scarf makes it look he's wearing like the coziest uh, turtleneck sweater. It does. <laughs> it, <looks great. laughs> it actually reminds me a bit of Nathan Drake from the third Uncharted. He kind of wears a shirt that's similar to that color. Oh, so really? I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, and a bit of eyeshadow here? I'm yeah, it looks like there's some shading on the eyelids and on the lips to give that realism. I always like shading my eyelids, too. Mm. It, I find it gives a bit of depth to the character's face. This is great. Mm -hmm. Good job in that got a cool background. Yeah, awesome awesome work. This next this one is, is by Thagris. <laughs> this Nate is a Disney Nate guest on. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness, that's great! I like how he's thinking about treasure. Too. Oh yeah, that oh the creative additions with the speech bubble are great. Yeah, and the bright pink socks and the bright blue hair. <laughs> it's great. Oh look, he's got this a This reminds little... me of like an anime character. He does look like an anime character. I love the emblems on his shirt here and on his buckle. What do they mean? What do they mean? It's a mystery. Who is this by again? It's Spyphagris. Spyphagris. Keeper of secrets. 
<laughs> oh, I like so the red cool. ice. Yeah, I like the red ice too. That really uh, um con complements blue hair and stuff. Oh, I almost did red eyes too, but I was like, I think he is brown in the game. He's got blue. In the game? Yes. <laughs> I just, I only look at his hair and be like, that's Nate. <laughs> that's all you need. You know, brown hair, brown <laughs> eyes. I got it covered. Yeah. Wow. No, this is an awesome job, Fagris. Yeah, I great love job, the Fagris. little comical speech thought bubble up here with the chest because Nate is always thinking about treasure. And the accurate logo in the bottom right. Hold on, hold on. Mm, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice touch, too. Very mm -hmm. cool. Awesome job. And the next one is by oh, Ro it, Asak. It was a D for dragon on the belt buckle. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a dragon. Oh yeah, there is a dragon. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Awesome. But um, yeah, this one's by Robo Asok. Mhm. Mm I think this is one of um. Oh, someone's child. Um. Continue. I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, they've renamed him Sam. Here, it looks like. Sam. It's kind of like a Sam. He's got a nice blonde and he's got a bold red outfit going on here. With oh, yeah, this is one on. of Fagris's kids. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, yeah, the continuation. Yeah, I think this is the one who is naming all the, the drawings and right. the sisters and the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. I like the teal on the sword hilt, too. That's nice. Red is a very nate color. It is. It's called dynamite, fire, explosions. Yeah, Michelle Mason says, a true fire look. It's true. Mm, yeah, this is very bold. Also, hi, Michelle Mason. <laughs> but yeah, awesome job on that. Um, this next one is by Sonic Asni. Vegra says, other child. This one's oh, good. It's a pencil crayon here. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. I like the pink hair. Pink hair, pink pants. Mm -hmm. I feel like quite a few people went with the the red or pink pants. Yeah, yeah, they did. I've seen a, quite a bit of pink red pants. Yeah, um, yeah I like the green eyes. Um, the different tones, like on mm -hmm. the skin and the shirt and the pants, those are awesome. And the gold sword, so the gold sword <laughs> hilt. Why, why was it so hard? Uh, it was a classic. Mm -hmm. Yes, matches the bell buckle quite nicely. Yeah, those green eyes really pop. They did a good job with that. Oh, and they colored oh. the logo down here, too. It's a mm -hmm. nice touch. Awesome I also went job. for a red and yellow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Michelle Mason is Dragon Poker. Ah, I recognize you now. Thank you. This one was submitted by Vazerbin. Um, they were too taken <laughs> aback by buff Nate. Nate. <laughs> Quote, unquote, buff Nate. Um, where I mean, I tried to make him more lanky. I think he's quite lean. Yeah, but maybe okay. it's just like he's got legs for days. He's compared got to legs. The, the he Bush does. One. <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got very long legs. He's very um, masculinely proportionate mm -hmm. compared mm -hmm. to you know the usual pudgy, no non-existent leg Nate, mm -hmm. as you can see here with his birthday cake that's on fire. Um, but but uh, this yeah, is true, I, Nate. <laughs> I restrained on the muscles a little bit when I was drawing the coloring pages. You know me, I like drawing muscles. It was like a so. draft one where he's just like, giant biceps. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, no, 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 gotta tone it <laughs> back. back. Dial it back. This is an 80s Nate, so I can't make him super buff. The uh, dynamite cake and fire is very on brand. It's Nate's birthday, so this is good stuff. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't like a burnt cake? And look at the texture on the bushwhacker on the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's, that's fun. pretty cool. Yeah, with the drop shadow. And yeah, that's pretty did, neat. How did you do that? Magic. Very good. Yes, very good. Very funny. And this was a bonus drawn by Robo Socks of Agnes's Kid of a Panda Claw. It's the famous bushwhacker classic <laughs> Panda Claw. <laughs> Deserves to be drawn. Yes. I, I, I'm really charmed the fact that they. Drew an extra little bonus doodle with a little Among Us companion. Yeah, the that's Among Us kinda one. kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> this Panda Claw's pretty sus. I don't know. Very sus. Very sus. It's always been sus. Who made it? Very it cute. Mean? It's very charming, though. I... And this just goes to show like the depth of their bushwhacker knowledge. 
Yes, yes. That's always fun to see, too. Like, to go out of their way to draw, like, an extra little bonus bushwhacker doodle is always nice to see. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, overall, really awesome submissions, guys. Like, I was I was a little worried because it was a bit more detailed, but Nick and I were like, well, it is Nate's birthday, and Nate is larger than life, so we should give him a pretty detailed coloring page. And it seems like a lot of you guys knocked it right out of the park. Yeah. So good you, job on doing that. You all stepped up, and I'm blown away. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes, awesome stuff. Also, Michelle could recognize that this was Panda Claw immediately. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, it's very iconic, being so weird in the game. <laughs> when we were talking about Nate's giant biceps, JPL was like, one giant bicep like Trogdor. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> <laughs> we added the Trogdor arm as a custom item, right? That yes, happens? I think. Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> That was good. Oh, it was like your first year on, too. I think it was, yeah, because um, you were like, I wonder if we could do some Trogdor custom items. Like, oh my god, Trogdor, I love Trogdor, and you were so excited that <laughs> I also love Trogdor. Ugh. I frequently quote the, uh, if I ever have to delete something, like, something there's spam on the forum, and Eric was like, Nick, delete this, or Justin, delete that, or Justin's not here, Nick, delete it. Anyway, okay. I'll grab the, the strong bad deleted scene oh yeah he's like deleted and he's on <laughs> yeah. his computer it's always fun because orban has five panda claws Whoa. that's cool because we do the different recolors of them mm -hmm. there'll be more this year too oh yeah great submissions everybody mm -hmm. yeah Let's they're great see if we have any questions that was good that that was an enjoyable, good chunk of time, just checking those out. Yeah, like, we got a lot of really cool ones. Um, as a fan of Nate, that's always a treat for me to see some cool Nate coloring submissions. Uh, Andy Jacody is in chat. Uh, says hey thanks i play idle champions oh nice thanks for uh popping into another code name game mm -hmm. alex bleth says is it possible to share the coloring sheet in such a way that it is possible to use a fill bucket um so you probably were using the pdf which um I don't know, maybe we should make that the other, well. So the PDF is there for you to print and then you color with a physical medium like pencil crayon or paints or markers or what have you. But if you right click on the actual image on the media page, you can download the full JPEG, which is typically what people are using when they're using a digital editor like me. Uh, and we'll supply a PNG because I find them a little easier to work with and then they have yeah. the transparency built in so you can just uh, delete the background and add cool custom background images and whatever yeah so like if, if we put a png up there for you guys and you open it in a painting program like what i've got here it could be like any painting program that recognizes a png without a background essentially you'll get it where it looks kind of like this um and what you can do then is you can create a layer which goes underneath these lines here and just color away. Mm -hmm. So if I were to change this. Pro tips. Then, yeah, pro art tips. You can just have at her with color and you don't have to worry about, you know, that white color or going over the lines. Um, unfortunately, it does have to be a program that understands like layers and PNGs with no background. So. I'm sure Paint.net has something like that. Everyone I bring up Paint.net to hasn't heard of it at all, but I'll continue to shill it out because I use that for everything. I have never heard of Paint.net until you told me about it. Because it's in the like the nebulous open source realm and has zero marketing behind it. Oh no. Hey, it's good though. That's a, as long as it's good, then you know. It needs more marketing, it sounds like. Yeah, but they're open source. They don't have a budget they no, just have true. raw enthusiasm for a free product <laughs> uh Vizorbin, uh looking at your question here 
Your submission was not stupid. It was very witty and clever, and I respect your decision not to draw a buff to Nate. Yeah, and... it was not stupid whatsoever. I thought it was quite charming and kind of funny. And I haven't had a chance to look at your chocolate cake maze, but I'm excited to take a look at it maybe next week. It sounds like you put a lot of work into it. Oh, uh, Lynx is the hero. 35s is recommending GIMP, which is another open source uh, painting program that I think has almost all the features that um, Photoshop has. Have you heard of it, Georgia? I, I have. I have never used it, but I have heard um, a couple people use it. Sacknut Meg says, how many did you receive? I'm just trying to find out how many of what you're talking about. Submissions? Submissions? Yeah, you said 17? Yes, I said yeah. 17. Yeah, that was lots. Yeah, nice number. Uh, Michelle has some questions about the dragon you're drawing. Oh. Uh, is it going to be the next coloring sheet? Yes. Yeah, so this one will get out to you as soon as we can. By latest Monday, and then you can get that coloring on it. Uh, mm -hmm. Does anyone recognize which, uh, I guess, year this one came out? Well, yeah, this one. This one's an oldie of mine. <laughs> but a goldie. Whoa! But you're very hot on yourself on anything you haven't drawn in the last, I don't know, month or something. <laughs> oh yeah, if I look at art that's like a month old, I'll be like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> JPL, I'm flattered. JPL says, so wait, I think I just realized Nick talks and reads chat and Georgia's the one drawing. I always thought Nick was drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. Oh, Nick, you're a multitasker. I couldn't. I kind of want you to try to draw on the stream now. No, if it's not just like a paint bucket tool. Like a tree. <laughs> you gotta use the lines, you gotta sketch and draw. I don't have a tablet. I don't have the skills. Sure, there's one at the office. Maybe. We had two that we gave away, but I gave one to a friend. Who's been making pixel art with it. It's kind of oh, cool. CJ Bushwhacker just logged in. Where is the satchel? Uh, I hope you found it in the top left. It says code Nate Dragon Day 21. All right, so uh, I'm gonna. I think it's time for some updates. You know? Yeah. 30 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> so. You all probably know it's the second weekend of the Nate's birthday event. Uh, I hope you all have been enjoying it so far. Uh, there's a week left to go, so keep at it to unlock the explosive Nate mannequin base, uh, which you can see on the holiday dialogue at the, the right. You can hover over it to see the, the tooltip description. Uh, did we put a funny one? It says, for your explosive styles. Whoa, that's... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, good luck. Hope up. I think a lot of you are doing very well in the uh, event completion, so probably no worries there. Uh, and the uh, the Nate's birthday event pets are on sale. Uh, they're the guardian lion pet, the... <laughs> what I called... I didn't tell Georgia this yet. I called the fire cat the lit cat. <laughs> and then the descriptions lit like it used to me. <laughs> oh my god. And then the fairy dragon. Uh, did you have anything to say about the, the pets you drew, Georgia? Um, I actually, like every year, I try to do something that's more creative and out of the box. Because um, as you all could imagine, working on a game for as long as you have with Bushwhacker, with events that are 
you know, reoccurring. You're going, oh, what can I do this year that would be kind of interesting or different? So e each time an event pops up, I try to either do like something mythological or something kind of iconic. Um, so when I thought of, hmm, the fairy dragon, because I like to include dragons. I love dragons so much. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we hadn't done a fairy dragon, like a fairy fairy dragon. And there's some really cool fairy dragon designs. So I was like, okay, that's a must. Um, and cats are always important to Bushwhacker because there's so many of them and we got so many cat fans. And I'm like, I'm going to do like a smug little flaming kitty. Yeah, I like the expression it has. Yeah, he's pretty smug. Yeah, <laughs> and I thought the guardian lion was something different. Like I, I covered the fire basis, I covered the dragon basis. So when I thought of like, oh, what's, what's something we haven't done? And I was just looking up random. I, I do a lot of research when I do like random pets and mounts and the guardian line went, oh, that's actually something we haven't done. And it's pretty cool. And it's different than a dragon in fire. Yeah. And you made it so. like cool and cute. Yeah. It's like an adorable little uh, protector. Yeah. He's like a little grumpy guardian protector guy. I love his curly hair. Yeah, I like the, it's there's crazy. so many cool details on the Guardian Lion statues when I was looking them up. I'm like, yeah. it was hard to find just like one design because there's so many different ones. That's a neat thing about what you do as far as like turning something in real life into a bushwhacker object is you got to kind of distill its style so it still yeah. comes across and that's cool. Something simple, like I got to simplify a lot of things or make things way cuter than the thing from origin so some examples would be like a wendigo pet we have i had to cute that up a whole bunch um since wendigos in traditional legendary folklore sense are not cute by any means they're quite <laughs> yeah, fearsome those really challenging <laughs> yeah so it's always kind of fun to be given that challenge to do something kind of spooky kind of creepy looking and make it kind of cute and lovable mm -hmm. No, you're a master of the art. Why, thank you. Uh, Michelle Mason. Now I'm excited. I got scented crayons for Christmas and haven't used them yet. I will use them for the first time on this lava dragon. Ooh, Ooh. scented crayons. Scented. What are they scented like? What are some of the scents, Michelle? Tell us. Um, Crochet Chris has joined the chat. Hello, Crochet Chris. Welcome, welcome. They did the dumpster fire emoji, and then when we were talking about the cat, they did the cool cat with sunglasses. Appropriate. Nice. Appropriate. Ms. Orban says, I love going to get a mannequin from the events. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're excited about them. They went over really mm. well. Yeah. Had to put a little extra work in to get them working, but it was one of those features that I thought would complement the game very, very well with the truly massive uh, wardrobes you have available to you. <laughs> FlybbBW says, Nate's intro says, party like it's 1979. So that must mean that he's turning 42 this year. Oh my goodness. He sort of reminds me of Leisure, leisure oh God, Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> I'm not, I've heard of Leisure Suit Larry, but I'm not terribly familiar, but oh, if Nate's 42, I tell you. I mean, if Nathan that's Drake him, is hmm? forty, I believe. Who is Nathan Drake? Oh, really? Well. So, yeah. So you know, pretty close. That's pretty close. Uh, if he looks the way he does in the coloring sheet, he's doing really good. No? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> he's lean and mean. <laughs> he's got to keep fit for all that adventuring, you know. Mm hmm. Zorbin, can't wait to color this dragon. I might do one of my crafty designs with it and send it to you guys. Ooh. Ooh. In the mail. Cool. Yeah, I can't wait to see how everyone colors this. Uh, mm -hmm. Fire's always neat because people like to do different exotic colors. Yeah. Mannequins help with your event contest decorations. Glad to hear it. Uh, the scented, were they crayons? Yes. Yes, crayons. Uh, we're by Mr. Sketch, same folks who did the scented markers. Scents are fruit scents, berry, uh, blueberry, cherry, etc. Wow. Oh, nice. That's fun. 
probably way more healthy for you than marker smells. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I can't see what I can't wait to see what you come up with there. The markers and crayons always I enjoy when people submit art that way. Mm -hmm. The digital art looks really good, and it allows you to do a lot of really fun things uh, fairly easily. But something about the traditional medium. I actually just got a set of watercolors for my birthday, so maybe I'll do oh. one submission using those. Ooh, so far, I've just done a, a tree canopy. It's it's green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta use them more, Nick. Well, usually I do like custom cards for people's birthdays and things. Oh. And I kind of got burnt out with the Christmas gauntlet, but oh, no doubt. I'm prepared and ready for the next one. Yeah, I I went nuts with Christmas too for some of my online buddies. I I think I made like 40 something pictures. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you were saying you had a bit of a wait, no, that's separate from the actual commissions. Yes, that's separate from the commissions. I did those in oh, like dang. the span of a couple days. Hmm. That's too much. It's too much to order. Well, I know that now. <laughs> it's too late. The damage <laughs> is done. It's too late. Oh, Nightbot shares the coloring sheet media page. That's fancy. Ooh. Well, it's probably not fancy, but that's that's handy. There you go. Um. So, uh, I won't speak for Georgia, but I'm an amateur at this live streaming gig. Uh, fortunately, the office is working through a live streaming workshop, which is so very exciting. We've got some industry pros uh, kind of giving everyone tips with their shows. So, mm -hmm. uh, we're still in the middle of it, but hopefully I'll get a little better at this uh, live streaming thing and maybe mute myself a bit less. <laughs> Oh, but that that makes for good stories, though, Nick. It's so I, Georgia appreciates <laughs> it when I mess up. I do. Humanizes and humbles the podcast. It the stream. does. It does. <laughs> I, like I was saying to Eric, I'm like one of my favorite parts of watching streamers is when they humanize themselves or make themselves relatable, and it it makes for funnier jokes down down the road with like later later streams. Yeah, it's. I mean, you gotta pace them. You don't want to have too many. <laughs> like a tasteful <laughs> amount of unprofessional, I guess, goes away. <laughs> or amateur, I suppose. Um, and so as it's January, uh, start of the year, Georgia and I have been furiously planning for this year's contents, updates, and promotions. Uh, Georgia in particular has done a great job so far. And yep. it's maybe a lot harder than people might imagine just to come up with all the ideas and things that'll work good for Bushwhacker. Mm -hmm. And now with the dust settling after the flash apocalypse, we're starting to see what the future may have in store for Bushwhacker. And so far, it's looking pretty good, actually. So mm -hmm. we look forward to another year fresh with updates and fun. Yeah. It was a little uh, nerve wracking at the end of the year. Especially when we're on winter vacation and then, you know, the, <laughs> the, the flash is ending during that time. Like, yeah, I was like, I'm just going to put it out of my mind. Everything will be fine when we go back. We prepped. We prepped as well as we could have. The uh, desktop launcher seems to be, at least for the resources we had available, seems to be one of the more stable, safe choices as far as what we've seen kind of emerge post flash apocalypse. There's some hopeful plugins and stuff that people are working on for browsers, which will still be great because the I'm pretty sure we're just going to keep the the web version on there. So if you can get a browser that will actually run it safely, then that'll still be an option for people. Mm -hmm. uh, did I miss any questions? JPL, does Nate's mannequin blow up? Um, no, but it kind of looks like it already did. <laughs> <laughs> it would be great to add like a boom explosion animation or something but i it's got it's it's dangerously armed i'll say <laughs> i think you can actually see in the photo that it's uh it's got like a stack of tnt next to it yeah some sooty explosions
JPL, I saw the idle Twitch video from today. Can I get some BW2 pancakes on the griddle? Oh, that'd be a great crossover. Yeah. That would be. That would be super cute. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what JPL's talking about, there's a we do a show uh, with... It's for our other game, uh, Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms, where... Um, I forget his name. Lee... Uh, a famous chef named Lee... <laughs> Uh, makes pancake versions of the different uh, champions and the it's incredible and the format as peculiar as you might think it is like his fantastically results in like a very dramatic reveal because he does he like he takes the batter and it's all colored and he like he's drawing on he's drawing it backwards so he's just like adding it to the griddle and then at the very end it's all assembled it doesn't look like it's finished but then he takes the flipper flips it over and it's like whoa it's always like mind-blowingly good when he flips <laughs> it over it's the perfect reveal it'd be great to have him do like a, a nate or a, a oh, yeah. Rocker logo. Yeah. that'd be sweet makes me hungry when i watch it because i'm like well now i just want pancakes i keep thinking like does lee eat all the pancakes after he flips them i mean i hope so he should be able to enjoy his craft what if they're like not as tasty like there's a sacri there's a flavor sacrifice. Uh, like a sacrifice for, for how beautiful it is. I mean, just put a whole bunch of syrup on it. Like that's the main reason <laughs> you eat pancakes, right? It's just for the syrup. I guess so. <laughs> I actually go out of my way to explore. Uh, you'll often find me googling healthy pancake recipes with like oats in them, and I found one. Uh, it wasn't my favorite, but it was actually just like eggs, oats, and some other ingredient and it's when you fry it in a pan it looks like a pancake but does it taste like a pancake it, it no it tastes more like i don't know oh i think it was bananas was the third ingredient no i refuse <laughs> to put bananas in my pancake what jack johnson like made a song I, about it i know and i like that song a lot but i don't like bananas <laughs> That's like, okay. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to disagree. Jack Johnson, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa. I was okay with you disagreeing with me, but JJ? Oh, <laughs> so you just don't like bananas in general? Is that it? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. I, I can't stand the taste of bananas. It's not a texture thing? I find it's often it, a texture it thing. It is. People. It's a texture and a taste. If I, if I smell that there's, like, bananas in something, like, my mom would try to trick me when I was little. <laughs> to eat more bananas and so she'd make me a chocolate milkshake and she'd come in being like hey i've made you a chocolate milkshake and from the door i could smell the bananas in the milkshake i'd be like there's bananas in that <laughs> and she'd be like dang it it is a very obvious smell yes it is Iconic. i'm like I, I don't know what it is i'm like i don't like the taste i don't like the texture i don't like the smell i'm like no i, I don't like bananas well good luck in your banana crusade george's mom <laughs> You'll get her one day. <laughs> I don't. I, I, the only thing that I'll eat close to it is banana bread, and that's I. I can't eat much of that. So like. Oh what? That's my sister will. From a banana. No, no, I could taste the banana. Oh well, yeah, but. <laughs> Sorry, you're talking about your sister. Oh yeah, bread? she she keeps daring me to eat like a small piece of banana bread, and so I'm like, oh yeah, I could do it this time, and then I'm like, nope. <laughs> She gets great amusement out of it. Sometimes she films me her reaction. <laughs> uh, siblings. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love bananas. I have them in everything. My favorite smoothie is cocoa banana and a bit of fruit and some. Stuff that's not the sewer water smoothie, right? No, that's matcha. Okay. That Nick used to always bring in the smoothie every day into the office, and it just looked like sewer water. Well. Back in the day when we worked in the office, it's very close to a Starbucks and we would ritually do like a, a Starbucks run and I went through a period where I wanted to be kind of thrift and <laughs> I stumbled upon a forum which talked about like the cheapest things you can order at Starbucks and I was pretty into matcha and apparently you can just like pay for two scoops of matcha in water, <laughs> which, but then add cream from the, the station later. So I... I did that and it was like 89 cents, but it oh looked distinctly like sewage water. It did. I'm like, Nick, are you drinking sewage water again? He's like, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I bought premium matcha from downtown and now I make my own sewer water with coconut milk in it. 
Wow, homemade sewer water sounds great. I definitely don't call it that. It's <laughs> coconut matcha <laughs> la latte, I guess. It's blended. Incredible Goblin says very nice. He's on my side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Until he sees what it looks like. He's like, oh, I'm not sewer. No. Um, oh, uh, Sasha shared it's Lee Goldberg and shared his Twitter there. So follow Lee, makes delicious, artful creations. It truly is an art, too. It really is, especially like, when you do it backwards, too, you know? And you're just guesstimating yeah, essentially where to put the lines. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how he does it. Like, I can do that with drawing, but... To do that with a pancake, that's that's a whole new level. Yeah, it's two layers of challenge. You're doing it backwards and with batter. <laughs> uh, Crochet Chris says, yeah, the pancakes are dope. Sure are. Lynx is the hero, says, I was able to use the Codename Browser version up until 12th, the 12th at midnight. I used a trick with Chrome to stop it from updating to further restrict Flash, but apparently the Flash version I had was with the built-in kill date. Yeah, it's Aww. yeah. Cry face after. I agree. It's, it's the end of an era, truly. Ah, but they're finally they're definitely used to the desktop launcher now. So glad you're adjusting. Mm -hmm. Incredible Goblin says tastes like eggy oats. It kinda did. The <laughs> pancake concoction. <laughs> eggy oats. It was so simple, like a three-ingredient recipe, but it tastes like a three-ingredient recipe. Yeah. <laughs> the mystery of it, the the magic of a recipe in general is kind of lost in it. Yeah, like I don't I don't eat a ton of pancakes, but when I do, I'm like, just give me pancakes. Michelle Mason says green smoothie equals mojito. Kind of. I'll call it a matcha mojito. Does that sound more appetizing? Than sewer water mojito? <laughs> I don't know. It's a low bar. I know. <laughs> Nick, do you find, did you find out why the DL was doing so many graphic glitches? No, I haven't had a chance to look into it, and it's one of those issues that I can't reproduce on my end. Uh, I think I may have experienced something similar once, but I wasn't able to get to the bottom of it and haven't experienced it since. I was wondering if it has to do maybe with, I don't know, like the application running around, ran, running out of RAM or some kind of technical limitation, but it's very strange that it's also limited to the desktop launcher. Uh, I don't think you saw, has had Web ever done anything like that, Bizorbin? How do you pronounce Bizorbin? You do it differently than I do, Georgia. Vazerbin? Vazerbin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or wrong. <laughs> I have no idea. JPL says the trick to the smoothie is adding rum. And they had a graphics glitch where their mount lost its face that's oh my goodness that sounds truly that's horrific scary <laughs> oh my god uh rest in peace your mount's face i'm sure it came back when you reloaded though i'm sure fairly we sure hope. i'm like 99 percent sure <laughs> uh talking about uh buff nate Sacknut Meg says he keeps fit so that he can outrun the chaos he creates. That's that is very true. So true. Good interpretation. I dig. Um, anyone following the ongoing Georgia bucking me for not having seen uh, Lilo and Stitch? I I got a month of Disney Plus to watch the new movie Soul, which is really cool. Really cool movie. It is. I really enjoyed it. And I took that opportunity to watch Lilo and Stitch because it's on Disney Plus, And I was pleasantly surprised. I told you. Georgia Nick told was... me the whole time. It's true. <laughs> yeah, he, he was like, I don't want to watch an, a movie with aliens. I don't know. I'm like, Nick, it's it wasn't a good aliens. movie. aliens. It was just like kids and aliens. It's like, this is like, a story it's... about a baby. <laughs> a baby? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> but anyway, I was, I was so wrong. Uh, Lilo... Lilo has a dark side. <laughs> that yes. was really good. I was called. I was taken aback by it. I was very impressed with the movie, and I recommend it. 
Yeah, also, she's an awesome character. Yeah, and it seems very heavily inspired by Men in Black with some themes there, which mm-hmm. came out, I think, a year before or something. I believe so, yeah. They're both very close in um, release dates. Mm-hmm. JPL says, no trouble ticket. So yes, it came back. Yes. Whew. Phew. However you say that. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Did I miss any comments? Uh, Vizorban says, any way you want to pronounce it. No. That's a very bizarre issue, Zorbin. Excuse me. You can walk through various blocking items in your maze. Weird. Now, a lot of people, especially if you're experiencing this issue on your ranch, um, we don't really limit how many objects you can have on your ranch. So uh, it's always been a concern of mine. Like, we don't want to inhibit you from decking it out however you want and a lot of people like to put their their oodles their their lots of what's a what's a word for lots of animals like a throng it depends on the animals a menagerie a menagerie (laughs) of animals on your ranch (laughs) but uh they can be quite taxing depending on the limitations of your computer uh so i was wondering if maybe this is like a like a usually when your computer runs out of ram for a program it just crashes but i wonder if there's some weird adobe air reaction and then that's what happens it flickers or gives up on some graphics some people were talking about their christmas tree ranch items some of them had the same graphic despite being the different item but only sometimes oh weird which is so peculiar. I have no idea even where to start looking at that one, but it was intermittent. So it's, the, the trees are gone. So we'll see if it happens with any other doodad, but it's kind of alarming. It's really tough. It's part of the requirements of my position is to gauge how severe bugs are and if it's worth pursuing those versus uh, the regular content updates or the next major content area, stuff like that. And unfortunately, if it's a really hard to reproduce issue, uh, it's often, I can spend a lot of time just digging into an issue that's only affecting a a handful of people. So usually I try to wait for more and more reports to come in to kind of, and I'll, anyone who's submitted a report like that will often have me do like a not an interrogation, but I'll try to ask like, when did it happen? What were you doing? Just so I can slowly build a picture of what might be triggering it and how I can reproduce it. And then the more and more people who report it, the higher priority becomes too. So if you're experiencing weird graphics issues, send me a ticket. Um, So we have two minutes. Two. It went by fast. Yeah, this is a we breeze through this one. Mm-hmm. Thank you everyone for attending. This was this was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's always so great to connect with the community. Bushwhacker mm-hmm. has such a good community, right, Georgia? It really does. It really does. Like the fan base and players are just so pleasant. It always it's always nice to like when they comment on such little things or you know share their love for the game by just saying you guys are doing a great job or. They're just invested in the game overall. It's, mm-hmm. it's really pleasant to see. We love hearing your praise. Uh, we respectfully accept and appreciate you sharing your not praise. <laughs> but uh, if you do share any praise, we often share it on, we have a positive feedback channel mm-hmm. for the company, just to kind of share the love. Um, anywho, uh, so, we're next on the horizon. I'm, I'm buckling down and working on the next content update, which I, I keep hyping myself up. Like the more I work on it, the more stoked I get to finish it and see what you all think of it. So I'm very excited mm-hmm. about it. The special word that we hinted at last time. 
last 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 time <laughs> was prismatic uh we won't spoil anything else beyond that so uh we'll just try to get it out as fast as possible yeah with that oh no i took too much time did you take too much time nick that's all we have time for today thank you all for tuning in it was our pleasure to hear from each of you mm -hmm. georgia do you remember where they can find this drawing sheet once you finish it it will be on the media page yeah on the codename website under the bushwhacker area that's absolutely correct and we will let you know when it is ready on the facebook community page and the twitter and on the forum uh it is you're all getting so much better at these coloring sheets so please please keep keep submitting them and we'll keep showcasing them and it's it's like we're growing as a community with our yeah. own. Thank you, Georgia. The great work on the sketch. This looks so fantastic. And I love seeing a reimagining of Bushwhacker pets and assets just in the more detailed coloring sheet form. It's really cool. Yeah, it's always fun to do that. Like, especially if they're older pets too, then I'm like, oh yeah, so this is what it would look like now, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing more drastic than how Nate looks in the game and how he doesn't look. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, thanks again, Sasha, for moderating the chat. Dylan for setting up the tech for the stream. Also, Dave popped in and helped us with the cool countdown timer you saw at the start. Uh, thank you, Champions and Crusaders, for inspiring us to join the channel. Eric for pushing us to make it happen. Shout out to Erica and Kat for trailblazing the stream format for Crusaders. And the stream gurus, Margaret and Sean. Thank you all again. Be kind, be safe, and we'll talk to you later. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, guys. And off.